Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Mike Rico. Today we're going to cover the components of a breathing apparatus. The breathing apparatus is made up of a few different components. We're going to start off with the backpack. The backpack is used to secure the cylinder into the harness itself. There can be different types of cylinders used with this harness. Next is the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are used to put over the shoulders of the wearer when it's going to secure the breathing apparatus to the wearer. You have the waist strap. The waist strap has two parts. You have the female portion and the male portion which clip together around the waist. It's important that when you do put on the breathing apparatus that you tighten up the waist strap and the shoulder straps all the way. You have the low pressure line that comes down to the regulator. You want to be sure that you protect this low pressure line at all costs because this is actually the air supply to the firefighter. The air supply comes through here and on the top right here you have LEDs. These LEDs will signify how much air is actually in the cylinder itself. When you're doing your check, the LEDs should light appropriately to indicate how much air is in the cylinder. The bypass valve. The bypass valve is used to supply air to the firefighter in the instance of an emergency. Next is the face piece. The face piece is used by the firefighter to supply breathing air into the firefighter. There's a head harness that has straps on it. When you put the head harness on, make sure that these straps are tight to ensure that there is a complete seal of the face piece to the wearer. This breathing apparatus is a piece of life safety equipment. It's imperative that you know the operation of the breathing apparatus as it may save your life. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Mike Rico.